G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the thermal paste on a Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6700 XT. This one I do suspect it may be an X mining card, as we do have a bit of rust going on here, and a bit of dodginess going on on the cooler in here. On the back, we're looking good. And here we're looking okay. And as we get closer to the front, it starts to get a bit more dodgy. So, so I'm not replacing any of the pads on this. I'm just going to be replacing the thermal paste on here and going from there. So i have grab a standard Phillips head screwdriver and just undo a couple of these spots on here. I'm not sure if the back plate will need to come off first. So I guess we'll find that out along our journey. Go out, out. Going by how easy these are just unscrewed, I don't think it's really holding much in at all. Is this going to come off by itself? No, we have the surround coming off. But at least from here we can see the true extent of this cooler. If I disconnect what looks to be the fan here. If it wants to leave. I don't know why, but GPU fan headers are always relatively annoying to disconnect. I can already see we have much mining done here. Uh, do I need to lift up this bit here? There we go. Now we're releasing. And now we're stuck again. Oh dang it. There we go. Check out that. Bulk corrosion. I'm going to give that a bit of a brush and a clean. Disconnect it here as well. These fans functioning just fine, so I'm going to put them aside for now. Looking at that, especially down here, you can see all those white specks. All corrosion. Now from here, I flip this over. It's still not going to come off. I'm going to switch to a triple zero. Well, actually, this one work? Yes. Uh, probably a double zero Phillips head screwdriver. Go. That spring lost its screw. Lost its spring. Go. That one and that one. Off to the side. Now, what's next? If I give it a little twist, we stuck on the thermal paste. There we go. Could accidentally do a little bit of damage here. This pad. I might transfer these ones off here. Just because when I blast this with an air compressor, I don't really want to lose any more pads. Into the card, I'm not really seeing too much corrosion going on with it. Give that a blast with the air compressor. And I'll give this a bit of a brush and a blast and a clean. See how this will turn out. Now, like a fool, I believe I've blown the uh, a thermal pad off this MOSFET over here. That's great, but while I'm here, I might as well give it a quick brush. So we'll end up replacing that one. Clean up, yeah, it's looking a bit better. And this I did give a clean, didn't really change too much. Slightly less white, but I've already put some isopropyl on there, IPA. Put some on here, and we'll redo the thermal paste. Like 
that. And go over this one. It's cool, you can see there's hard texture on there. Move that out of the way. Now we've got some deep cool Z5 thermal paste floating around at the moment. It's nothing special, but it's better than what was already there. So I just want to go over all the dye. stuff will smush out a little bit. Uh, where have I got my little spatula? There's one. Maybe a little bit too much on there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is some chunky generic stuff I've got floating around. Sure of the overall thickness of that, sorry to say. It's been floating around with me for quite some time. Push it on here. Mm, I'm gonna need something slightly a larger piece of it. It's a little bit fatter than the one that's already on there. But I'm guessing it's going to be squished down in a second anyway. It does have a little bit of compression left in it. Compared to here. I know, should be able to flip this over. Actually, which way will I go first? Make sure it doesn't fall off. Now, put the screw first. Try to get the spring back on it. Least enough that it's going to stay there. Bingo.
So if I flip that over and have a look down here. Where are we? Uh, yes, I still see my thermal pad just down here. There he is. Cool. Now, next up, we want to go. This way. No, that way. Full header. In. Next up. Actually, I will give the fans a clean while I'm at this stage. Move this aside. Silicon spray on the cloth. Let's see if these will clean up a little bit. Not a huge amount, but I'm actually curious if this will make a bit of a fan imbalance. That's probably not even really worthwhile doing this. I'm gonna do the fans are all out of whack by a few gram or fraction of a gram. I'm wondering if it'll cause much of an issue. What it will do though, is take an access it. Give these a squirt with some silicon spray in here. Over here. Now, while it's already wet, I might dry it up. Well, I'll proceed to reinstall. There we go, on the top. Top connected, on the rover. here, and that should be able to squish down. Flip it over. It's a matter of putting these back in. Yeah, what do we have? Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. We do have a couple of short ones. Yeah. As long as this one. Long looks here. Two short ones must be over at the end here, I believe, by process of elimination. Uh, 
That is the Thermal Place. Thermal Paste Replacement, the Sapphire Nitro RX 6600 XT. Hence it's slippery from the silicon spray. Hope that helped you with your Thermal Paste Replacement, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.